Yara is a rules engine at its core. Uh, the idea behind Yara is to be able to describe the contents of a file and say, uh, these are the strings which are found within the file. These are the values of different properties within that file. And if all these things are true, then you get what's called a Yara match. A Yara match is nothing more than, you know, all the, this complex expression about describing the actual file contents, uh, evaluating the true. And the way people use it today is they use it to augment their classification capabilities. So if something is detected with a Yara match, they can you know, say that this file is malicious because the rule has been created to detect only malicious content, or uh, to augment their hunting capabilities. So create a really loose Yara rule, which is looking for things which might be associated with a malicious threat. So both use cases are equally valid, and depending on the organization, they either use one or both uh, to be able to protect the organization uh, from external attacks. So the reason why people actually need to create their own rules is because they're using Yara as a tool to, to kind of close the gap in detection. And those detection gaps occur because security vendors tend to focus on what's uh, affecting the majority of their customer base, right? So these are the threats so you, we would have, like ransomware, or even, you know, kind of like APT as well, advanced threats. But again, you're tracking the attackers. You're not necessarily tracking every single one of them. There might be a new attacker targeting just your organization, and that's why you would want to create a rule with, to protect yourself from that particular attacker. So Yara is really useful in that term because it's really flexible. You can quickly write a rule to detect any type of a threat, and, and really, that's why people use it today. So how do they use it? Is they use it both locally, so locally to protect the environment, as, as stated just now, but they also use it in the cloud. That hunting component is really important in the cloud because if you're really trying to protect your organization from external threats, you would want to hunt in different publicly available clouds because then you would see these attackers, you know, attacking not necessarily you, but others, uh, and you would ahead of time be able to collect relevant samples, analyze them, and better your defenses. That's the idea behind Yara. So Reversing Labs, uh, quite a few years back, uh, looked at Yara and, and decided this is a good way for people to interact with our platform, to extend the classification capabilities of the platform. Primarily, we were driven by, by Yara being the de facto industry standard at creating these types of roles. So we integrated the engine, but we went far than just mere integration. So our engine not only runs Yara and can evaluate Yara rules, it's really tightly integrated with Yara. So when we do automated static analysis, uh, the user has the ability to write the Yara rule which automatically plugs into our classification pipeline and on a match can convert the file to both suspicious and malicious. And not only that, you can even name the threats, which is super important. So aside from just you know tracking which Yara rule this match came from and what was the name of that rule, you get the ability to name the match and say, this is, for example, you know, a ransomware with this particular family name targeting Windows. And it's so nicely integrated that it's, you know, hard to discern, you know, if the threat detection came from your rule or from the engine or anywhere else. Obviously, all this data is logged and users can still get to them. But if you're just observing that detection string, it would be equal to any number of our components making that decision. Uh, so that's where extendability of our platform comes into play and users really being able to customize the detection for their specific detection needs. That's one way we integrate with Yara. The other one is we use Yara extensively in our cloud. We use Yara to both you know, analyze the files and the users have the ability to submit rules to our cloud. As the cloud is processing files, continuously, uh, you would get notified about matches that your rule has created. And that's the hunting component, right? You submit the rule to the cloud, as we're processing content, you get notified of matches. Uh, and that's kind of forward looking from the point you update, uh, you upload the rule, the matches occur. But th there's also a retrospective component, and that's really important. So let's say you're interested in a threat and you just learned about it, right? 
but you know, uploading it today, uh, you would kind of only see what happens after the upload. Let's say you want to go back, and that's what we call retrospective scan. Retrospective scan uh, goes back 90 days and looks at all of the data our cloud has seen and does tell you almost immediately, in, in, in two hours, the whole scan is completed, about all of the files which have been seen in those light, last 90 days which satisfy that criteria. And that's really important because really quickly you gather a large data set, you can start your analysis from that point. So one really common problem all threat hunters face today is the ability to match your roles against specific content they, they, they care about the most. Those are two key ways Yara integrates with our platform, and that's the that's the way uh, our customers are using Yara to enhance their detection and hunting capabilities. When you create a Yara rule, you're basically writing a signature which evaluates against the file, and Yara by itself doesn't do any kind of extraction. So if you're looking for a rule to match on uh, extracted content, like scripts or things of that nature, you really have to have an engine before it which extracts the content and then can apply the rules on the extracted files. That's exactly what the Titanium platform does for you. Uh, it applies Yara rules against every single object which is extracted, and that gives you the possibility to match exactly where you want those matches to occur. Uh, the benefit of this technology is that it's flexible. You can use uh, this technology in our cloud to proactively hunt for threats, or it can be deployed locally in your environment and be used to protect you uh, against things like uh, Emotet, for example, where you and your threat hunters have created rules to detect this particular threat, and you really want to, it to be applied only on that particular script. That is the flexibility that the Indian platform offers its users. Mm -hmm.